Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. When the Saturn 1B first came out in 2001, we included an engine block in the kit, and this engine block is still in the box of parts. But at this point, you can throw it out or use it in another rocket, uh, but you don't need it in your Saturn 1B. Um, the reason is all the rocket motors these days have an engine block built into the back of the rocket engine itself so that when you slide it into the tube, it prevents it from sliding all the way through. And then to hold the engine in, you can just wrap masking tape around it and that will hold it in. Uh, a lot of people prefer to use a screw-on engine retainer, which is a two-part system like this. Um, and this is the Aeropack 29L retainer, and that's the one that fits on this tube. Um, this part here is bonded on with epoxy, so it's permanently attached to the rocket. Um, you can do this at the very end of the assembly process. You don't have to do that here. Um, so that's bonded on, and then this would slide in there like this. And then you have this cap that screws over the top, that holds the engine in so you don't have to wrap tape around it. Um, this is an optional, this is, doesn't even come with the kit. Um, some people prefer to use them, um, it's totally up to you. Um, there is room in the back end of the rocket for that to be attached. So again, you can attach this uh, right before you go to fly it or you know a day before because you need to let the epoxy harden completely. So that's what it will look like and then you'll screw that on.